Carter arriving earlier this afternoon, primed and ready to go. It's the home of the Pacers as 2K Sports brings you today's action live from Indianapolis. We'll see the Indiana Pacers defending home turf in the Eastern Conference. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Well, they had some assignments and matchups that they just couldn't handle. Unfortunately, allowing one particular individual to simply dominate. As a team, collectively, they did not operate efficiently at the defensive end. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. Carter, he's in at small forward. John Wall and Gilbert Arenas pairing up in the backcourt. Maurice Spates out there with Gian Leon. And for Indiana, Brown out there with Collison. Then there's Danny Granger. Then it's Roy Hibbert. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, checking in for another commentary video on NBA 2K11. Today, I'm using my athletic small forward, David Carter, number 15, 6'9, 260, beast. Um, I just wanted to bring everybody to this video because a lot of people is telling me, hey, why don't I see more gameplay from your athletic small forward? Hey, what happened to that tall guy that I seen dunk on Gasol? Hey, what happened to that? You know. Um, basically, I'm bringing you this video. This video, um, the title speaks for itself. Uh, that's why I'm bringing you total gameplay. I'm not even going to cut it up. There's no need to. Um, I can bring you just about the entire first quarter because I got injured. Now, what I want to talk about is injuries in my player for NBA 2K11. What happens is if your durability isn't high enough or, you know, a freak accident might happen, um, most likely you're going to get injured, you're going to have to sit for a few games, or the NBA 2K Insider will come up and say, hey, you might have to sit out for this game, or, you know, do you want to play through the injuries, and if I were you, I would choose to play through them, because even with your little bit of production, your team still might get the W. Now, I'm playing on Hall of Fame, right? Uh, and it's, it's it's not really hard at the small forward position or the point guard position when you're playing on Hall of Fame. So I can basically do whatever I want to do. As you can see right there, you know, I hit the bucket. But what you want to do is when you're playing NBA 2K11 and you're not doing any commentary or anything like that, I would leave your NBA 2K Insider on because you will see at the end of the video, I got no type of simulation at all now i'm gonna spoil this for everybody if you turn your nba 2k solder off what happens is you actually have to play every single game that you're injured for so my guy's gonna actually get injured for you know about i would say two weeks and it's telling me that i have to play every game i have to sit on the bench in a suit and just look at my team lose we lost seven straight games before I even stepped on the court we actually won one um, after the seven street down loss I mean not down loss but uh, after the seven street uh, losses um, and it actually asked me that I want to trade any players god damn right I want to trade players I'm sorry but Maurice Spates uh, ye you guys gotta go I don't know what happened to JaVale McGee for some reason he must have went to the D League because He's not on my roster. He's not on any other team's roster. He's not on anybody's injured reserve list. So he must have went to the D League. But back to the injuries. Um, what happens is when you get injured, it's like this. Uh, you can get injured from a hard foul. You can get injured from coming down from a rebound, going up for a layup, going up for a dunk. You can even get injured from shooting a jump shot. It's all about your durability. Um, I remember when I first started my player, I used to shoot a lot of jump shots. Now, when you shoot a contested jump shot and you fall on your back, you know that little animation? After you fall on your back, your dude just lays there. He Like, he's done. He's done for, like, back, all these back spasms. <laughs> but um, another injury is when you're going up for a layup, most likely a Euro step or something like that. And when you're in the animation and somebody's trying to take a charge, you actually like collide with the person and you basically plow them over but when you fall it's a choice of a separated shoulder it's a choice of a, a, a broken wrist or a, you know a, a high fracture you know whatever 
Um, another one is when you're dunking and uh, you go through a contact layup, you might. Hold on, my bad. My phone should have been on silent. Stop calling me. It's, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, but what happens is you get hurt um, from a dunk. You come down off the dunk after a contact dunk. You can get a high ankle sprain. You can tear your um, you can tear any type of ligament. It's it's, it's stupid. Um, I also got another one where I went in for a layup one time and the dude grabbed me. Um, I got that video out just uh just say my uh, I think the video is called like my dude got hurt or something like that. I got the flu. I got the flu from a dude touching me like he put all his cooties on me. Like the bull grabbed me out of midair. I was sick. When I went to the line, I noticed my dude was like, his head was down, he, he looked groggy, he looked, looked disoriented, it. like, it was like, yo, what's up, what's going on with my dude, then I went to the start, and I was like, injury, the flu, I was like, what, how did I get the flu, it's not even hot in here, it's not even cold in here, like, what, what's going on, like, what gave me the flu, like, no crazy temperature change, like, I I don't know if, it, if we were on, like, a four-game road trip, and then I just, you know, got the flu off that I, I don't know but 2k they try their hardest you know to try to make the game realistic but some of these injuries are crazy uh, another injury i got was uh off a rebound um i went up for the rebound i grabbed the rebound right but when i came down everything stopped the whole game stopped dude just start hopping and jumping and skipping on one leg um looking up he's his face looked like oh like what, what happened and next thing you know it simulated, simulated the whole game for me i was like what the f so, you know, but when you get injured, this is an easy way to get out of it. Turn the game off. Forget that. Turn the game off. If you get injured, please have autosave on. If you don't work with autosave, I'm sorry for you. That's your problem. But turn the game off immediately. Do not let it sim. Do not let it save. Turn the game off. Because when you turn the game off, all you got to do is play the game again. I'm sorry if it's 12 minute quarters and you don't feel like playing them and it's so boring. Listen, if you get injured, how boring do you think it's going to be for you? You're going to end up with two drills, no skill points, all these losses. You don't want that, right? Because I know I don't want that, but I had to go through it. So just turn the game off immediately. Like that's, that's, the, that's the main thing that I do. As soon as I see an injury, I turn the game off. But since this my player is basically done, he's at 99, I just decided to, you know, roll with the punches. I don't care. I can roll with the punches. Uh, I use this my player in crew games, right? Now, after I got injured, this is the funny thing. Once I got injured, right, and they said that I was out for two to four weeks, I loaded this my player up in a crew game last night. Like, I, I mean, I was beasting. Like, I had 3,000 skill points that I had to use, and most of my stuff was all maxed out so i put it on like shot low post because i wanted to get crazy in the post with a couple of people because you know he's 6'9 so i go to the crew game you know we use the wizards shout out to javel mcgee you know he's he's probably the best person to run in a crew game he wins every tip off it don't matter who he goes against he goes against noah dwight Yao. it doesn't matter this dude wins tips i don't care what nobody say and him and blatch y'all might think man them dudes suck no on crew games they are the most underrated big two on the game dog like when i mean they bang with gasol and uh buying them you yo i'm telling you yo if, if 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 anybody's listening that play crew games go with the wizards trust me like hands down the wizards gonna hold you down because you got Rashard lewis at the three you got um blatch at the four and mcgee at the five now if you playing two player two player uh people like me and my boy Rez was running last night listen i had uh what's the boy name i put richard lewis at the two because i wanted to run three against some dude so i had howard john wall and somebody else like rotating because i didn't have my my player and we still pulled the win out we still pulled the win out because mcgee was taking everything uh, Blatch was on help defense and we won we run one three one. So when you get injured, man, it's it's just crazy because the my player didn't even load. I forgot to even say that. The my player didn't load. Um I didn't see any type of bench or like I didn't see my dude sitting on the bench or nothing. He just like when I loaded him up, it said alright, cool, play crew. And we usually don't pick our players at the starting screen because a lot of people get scared when they see 99s. Yeah, don't be scared.
Oh, you mad, huh? Yeah, don't be scared. But I load them up after the game starts, and I was going through the emotions, and I'm looking at the people like, yo, where the hell is D Carter at? Where is my monster? Where's my beast? And he didn't load because he was out on injury, and that's just what happens, I guess. Because um, I've seen I've seen um, my players come in crew games. Dudes that's like 50, 60, 70 overall. They'll come in a crew game, right? And when they're running down court and they're holding their wrists. So I'm guessing whatever injury you sustained in my player mode, when you load it up for a crew, it actually takes effect, which is pretty hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some dudes get to play on their worst. Like, they hold their back when they running up court. It's crazy. Injuries are crazy. But, uh, what else do I want to talk about? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about July 4th. Shout out to July 4th. Independence Day. Uh, happy 4th of July to everyone out there. Um, yeah, it's 4th of July where I am. It's 11, 10 a.m. Um, this video will probably be brought to you by, I would say, 1 p.m., maybe 2 yeah, uh, my processing for and rendering for Sony Vegas takes a little while and, you know, uploading it to YouTube only takes a certain amount of minutes that the video is actually the length. So, you know, internet is crazy. Don't worry about it. But uh, let's get straight into some gameplay. Um, I haven't said anything about the game because I was kind of pissed off about it. But let's go. All right, it's 2321. You know, I get the call for the ball whenever I want. So... Oh, let's get it. Oh, that's it. This this is this is the moment. Ah, my, my arm. Damn it. Fuck. Ah, oh, my arm. I got to check this out. I got to check this out. Please, please, don't be long. Two to four weeks. Separated shoulder, guys. Oh, man. Well nothing i can do let me go to the line shoot these hall of fame free throws yeah i said it hall of fame free throws let me get my five seconds of fame real kick <laughs> quick <laughs> i couldn't get it out I'm, I'm, I'm sitting up here laughing man five seconds man splash and i'm out Looks like we've got an injury, and he may have to come out of the game. That doesn't look good. Kevin, this is certainly one aspect of the game that you never want to see. Hopefully, the injury's not too severe, and he'll be able to return to action soon. At this point in your career, how frustrating is it to have picked up an injury that appears as if it's going to keep you sidelined for quite some time? It's really frustrating, man. Really frustrating. I don't know how the team is going to perform in my absence. I'll tell you one thing. I certainly don't plan on rushing back from this. I don't want to jeopardize my career by returning too soon, you know? When the time is right, I'll be back. All right, you guys, this right here is the end of the video. I just want to show you what my team did for me in that W. Uh, just want to see what type of contribution they made. You know, I had 17 in one quarter, not even one full quarter, but check it out. Um, I'll Pod King Carter signing out. Peace.